Hi everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. We have discussed a lot of VLSI related topics already and in this video we will be introducing the topic of routing. You must have seen this slide already and in this slide we have discussed about floor planning placement and CTS stage inputs and the bare minimum requirements that are needed to qualify this particular stage. We have also seen that after CTS we do the post CTS and we discuss that and then signal routing is the stage which we are discussing right now. So if you pay attention closely in the PNR side before sign off the routing is the last stage and that is most important stage where we fix the DRC and everything. Now let us discuss what happens in the routing. During the floor planning stage we have seen this kind of 3D diagram and we called this particular portion as macros. So these, this is a 3D view and we saw that this is your floor plan die in which we are placing the macros like this. And after that, if let us assume that there are certain standard cells. So these are the blue color ones are the standard cells. And you can see that they have lesser height, but that is why, because we assume that macros are more densely packed and they acquire more routing layers. So that is why their height will be more. And let us assume that if they are taking height up to M4 or M5 layer, what will happen is the standard cells would have taken only till M2 mostly. So that is why you can see that they are taking more layers. So that is why we can't see any way inside the macros. So that is why they are black boxed to us. But they will be taking already some routing resources wherever they are placed in the design. Now coming to the routing resources over the standard cells, you can see that there is a space available and routing resources which are already consumed inside the macros will be available here on top of this standard cells. So that is how it is. So it is like you can see that green colored ones. Let us say that this is third routing layer. So it would be available for routing over the standard cells, but it can't be used above uh, macros because M3 is already consumed inside this macro. This we have already seen in the previous video in the floor planning. Continuing further, the routing stack will look something like this. So as we said, let us assume two M layers of standard cells, two layer routing layers are already used for making the standard cells. Similarly, we have assumed that five routing layers are used for making a macro and we can't see inside macros. So they are black boxed to us and that is why they are, uh, uh, we already can see the pins of macro which would be in topmost routing layer which is M5 in our example. So here M3 is our horizontal, the green one. Then there is blue one which is M4 which will be vertical and then again horizontal is M5 and M5 we can't use M5 for routing macros because the pins are in M5. So uh, pin connection can be made and then uh, you can see that we can't use in uh, routing resources of M5 over the macro because pins are of, um, in M5. But if we use it, it will short with the macro pins which are in M5. This already we have seen till here. Let us assume that if there is more resources, let us say that sixth layer will be there. So that can be used above macro and standard cells both. That would be something like this above macro and above standard cells both. And then if there is an M7 which will be perpendicular. So that would be something like this. So this is our routing stack. So this is nothing but your routing stack. The routing resources are planned like this. Here is a real picture of 2 micrometer scale of routing resources. You can see that they are stacked one top of each other. And if you see your routing resources which are in higher layer, they are thicker. This is more thick compared to the one which is below. You can see that. So this is your thinner and this is thicker and routing resources in lower layer are more because of the same reason that since they are thin so more routing resources in the same area but less routing resources of thicker metal is available in the same area. Here is one more picture to give you better example or you can say better illustration of how the routing is planned in the design. So if you see the lower routing resources as we mentioned earlier that this is your lower routing resources probably M1 or M0 and then after that the via is coming and then there is perpendicular routing resource and then the, you can see that 
thicker routing resources are on the top or top metal layers so this is your top metal layers in which you are seeing the planning of routing routing is necessary because it connects the standard cells physically with another and that interconnect is only the thing that makes the design functional in the world one common question that is asked is what are goals of routing so by doing the routing what are we trying to achieve so after doing the routing we have to see that our SKU requirements are met so SKU requirements mean our target SKU which we have planned should be met that is in the clock path so we have already seen that part in the clock tree synthesis and then your design should be shorts or opens both shorts and open clean it should not have that so goal after routing it it is not like you stop at routing you have to clean the drcs so that is your part and then routing should not uh, should not have any problem with the timing so we have to check the timing also timing should be clean or should be within the margin and then we have to see for cap and tran for data and clock both so data and clock both we have to check that our cap and tran are proper and within the limits and then you have to also see that your layered geometry should meet the current density specification that is the part of power team so there is a tool called red hog that they use and they have to check for that that your power requirements are also meeting while doing the routing that is all for this video we will come up with more concepts in further videos till then please do like share and subscribe to the channel and do give your important feedback in the comment section thank you